is a, almost two years in my life in diary form. I have been worried that it's actually, that I went too far. You also said you were, you, you, went further with celebrities. Yes, And yes. you were a little bit very pleased and maybe a little bit nervous about the Taylor Swift story. Yes. <laughs> Which and, is so great. Right, so the Taylor Swift thing is, I saw her at the Met Ball after party. I don't know her. I have a history of saying exactly the wrong things to people. <laughs> and uh, I did with her, I just, I said to her, I had seen Katy Perry who was kind of in the corner and then I'm standing there waiting for a drink at the bar and Taylor Swift is walking by saying to her friend, I, where can we go stand? It's so crowded here and Lady Gaga's about to sing. And I turned to her, she wasn't talking to me, but I inserted myself <laughs> and I said, your friend Katie is over there and she, she, there's no one sitting I over there. I love that they all know what's problematic right. about it's, that. Of course they do. I go, she, there's no one <laughs> sitting over there with her. Like she had, she was in that corner area of the boom boom room where all the couches are by the fireplace. Yeah. And and there was a lot of space over there. And she goes, Katie who? And I go, Katie Perry. And still not, and by the way, this is something I have talked about on Watch What Happens Live a lot. So she basically made it clear to me that this was the exact opposite of her friend. And, and then kind of, please don't mention it on my show in harsher words, I yeah, should say. Yeah. She turned. I yeah, mean, it was... She kind of came back and yeah. put her hand on my shoulder and said, and I was like, oh, and I had said to her after, I go, oh my God, I am so stupid. I am so sorry. And I just thought, wow, she thinks I'm being shady, which of, why wouldn't she think that? I'm a shady ass bitch sometimes. <laughs> but like, I honestly wasn't. I really was not. You being, were just trying to help. I literally was. You and wanted her to be comfortable. I'm not kidding, I really was. And then I just thought, you know, oh, and then I said to her, well, at least you know where not to sit. <laughs> which I thought was a good recovery. At which point she said, uh, don't, you know, maybe don't mention this on your show. And then I, I maybe am a shady ass bitch that I did put it in the book, but like, I don't know. I think this story is about what a douche I am in, in that instance. <laughs>